Hello, and welcome back. It's Wade, and today we're going to do a quick little video showcasing some of the stuff we got at Christmas for the bike, and then in future videos we will do some installs and overviews of some of the products. So let's get right into it, so the video doesn't go forever. So one of the first things we have uh, is the multifunction mobile phone charging bracket. And it's pretty simple. It's the bracket itself. Put your phone in, comes with a wire, connect to your battery, and it has a USB on the side to charge your phone. And you can see how it will probably look or should look. You have your phone and then you have a bracket connecting to your handlebars. Well, it comes with a bunch of different components for different types of handlebars and different connection options. Let's just close this up. The next thing is a uh, portable tire inflator. And this is good for if you plan on doing off-roading and you'd like to lower your tire pressure. And then when you get back onto the highway, the roads, you want to inflate them again. You use this little little unit and it will uh, inflate your tires. Nice compact little gadget. Now we plan on replacing the entire steering mechanism and in order to do that, we start with the handlebars. And here we have the Pro Taper Contour CR High. You can see them here pretty nicely. Comes with a pad, and it's the uh, the thicker handlebar. And I went with the gold to match up, kind of with the gold shocks on the bike, kind of keep the theme going straight through. And in order to install these handlebars, you need the universal bar clamps. This will step it up from the 7 8 to the 1 and 1 8 I believe. Could be wrong. Don't quote me. But these are required in order to do that. And basically they just fit into your existing bar clamps, which will give a little bit more height but that's okay. Uh, I'm kind of hoping to see how that works out. And because we're playing, replacing the bars, we're going to lose the existing hand grips. We went with the Pro Taper Half Waffle Tri Density uh, with the red tips. They will probably lose the red because we have another product to put on. We need to cut these off. But you can see here it's the half waffle and in order to install these properly we went with the pro taper glue then we have the Zeta hand guards they are the bend model you can see and the red so keeping with the red theme of the bike Looking forward to put these on. In order to install those, we also went with the the triple clamp brackets for the uh, hand guards. Nice heavy aluminum, and these allow you to have a better, more secure uh, connection to your uh, to your bike. And to go with the the Zeta hand guards, we went with the Zeta um, hand guard deflectors, I'll call them. Went with the red, gotta match the bike. And we went with the XC model. These do not have the flashers, but they are made to accept the flashers. If I want to in the future, I could add the flashers. But I'm happy with the OEM flasher, so I have no plans to actually do it, but the options there if I want it. 
And then finally, for the uh, steering remake, we have the PowerMed uh, mirrors. And they kind of just connect into the Zeta handguards. Let's see if I can get one out here. So it kind of kind of works like that. They kind of connect like that and allows you to have the mirror without the big OEM mirrors. And then finally. We have, uh, we're going to do an airbox mod. We got a factory OEM airbox cover. I think it's like this. And we got some air vents, which we will drill and fix into this airbox cover to give it uh, more breathing. And we have a K&N air filter. Uh, the front of the box has my address on it, so I'm not going to show that. But it's the earbox um, air filter. So that's pretty much all we got. We also did pick up a um, battery tender junior so we can store the bike over the winter, keep the battery nice and topped up. And that's it. But that's pretty much what we have for now. So in the future, we will be doing the video installs of some of these products and maybe a quick little bit of overviews of them. But for the next four videos, we will be doing a the video of the last ride that I did when I brought the bike back from the cottage to Halifax for storage and winter and maintenance and all that nice stuff. So that's four videos. It was really long video, so I cut it up into four. Hope you enjoy that. While I'm working on the bike, making some additional videos for these product installs. So, hope you enjoy your day, enjoy the video, leave comments, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, be safe. Until next time, goodbye.